have it. Legendary Breaker of Bodies, baby. Terrible shield. This is like this is like clearly somebody that was working at working and made this did like not even look at the items and what makes them good. So the problem with the shield is it's it's meant to be a large shield, okay, that you can use as a main hand weapon, like a damage damage thing. Um but there's a couple problems with this large shield. So one, its base damage is so like it's supposed to be like if you're playing Vanguard, okay? Uh, this like this is why I like oh God, I wish I could like do item design because that would be so cool. Um, this item has a lot of problems with it. Problem number one, it's two D8s base damage. So two D8s base damage is really good, and you, why you're like, why is that a problem? Because the best shields, Terminus and Demonic Slab, are three D10s. Which is a lot more fucking damage. This, on average, is going to be doing what um, eleven damage, I think. Is yeah, the the average is eleven on a roll like this. Um, from three D tens, uh, the average damage is like sixteen or sixteen and a half. That's way more damage than this. So right away, the base damage is already higher. Uh, actually, no, it's not even eleven. The base damage of this is eight and a half um, or seven or nine. I think it's nine. Anyway, is it eight and a half? I think it's eight and a half. Anyway. Yeah, so this isn't that good. And then talk about like it's actual. So the actual base damage is not that good for like a for like a vanguard type weapon. Then it has shield bashing twenty eight. Now shield bashing twenty eight is kind of good because you can equip this if you're not already a shield bashing class. But if you're not a shield bashing class, you already have better defensive options for shields. So you wouldn't really want to wear this because this doesn't have any defensive options. This just has repost, which of course you already get from all of the different uh, different pieces like the. Um, what do you call it? Fuck. The celestial pieces, all different celestial armors, they all give repost. Uh, so, as a result, the shield bashing, if you're not kind of built around shield bashing, you want a defensive shield if you're going to use one. This one's not a defensive shield. This one's only going to work in an offensive build. And then problematically, the bashing of 8 d6 extra damage on a shield bash would be good if it would actually scale with critical hits, which it does not. It does not multiply. And then it says critical effect maiming. Sure, it does an extra 8 something, it's just 8 additional damage on critical hits. One, there's no context for that extra damage, uh, and because you don't actually know what the extra damage is, even if it's, say, it's 8 D8s, again, that doesn't scale with critical hits. So, this shield, unfortunately, is kind of a dud. Nobody would use this. It doesn't work if you just want, like, a shield. So if you're just like, oh, I'm just gonna use, like, a defensive shield, like, a, you know, I'm gonna slap on a, a large shield, like, it's not great as an offensive large shield, because if you're planning on playing a vanguard build, you want to take tower shields because it's just so much better. Plus, the shields just do more damage themselves. So this is basically an example of an item that was made with without like any current builds in mind, and then also not thinking about the fact that this doesn't fit any builds that also don't exist. There is no way to make this shield good. It's not defensive. It's not off. It's offensive in the wrong ways. It's not unique. It's just a bad item, which is really disappointing. If this item had a critical threat roll of 19 to 20 or a critical multiplier of 3 this might even this could be considered as like an item but because the effects are just flat damage effects the, this shield effectively doesn't exist which is kind of disappointing and the worst i think the worst part about it is that it's not even unique if you slap it on it just looks like demonic slab it's not it's not a special shield so not even a model so i don't know why that shield exists but what are you going to do <sighs> yeah, sorry, sometimes I get excited. I could talk about item design, because I think it's really important to, like, have cool items and stuff in the game. So, it's usually something that's always on my mind. Um, like I said, that, that if, in fact, if I was to fix that shield, I would probably do it in different ways. Um, it would take a little bit more thinking, but, to, like, the, the bare minimum right away, 19 to 20, would just make this a usable shield. Yeah, the Purple Dragon Shield's actually really good. Um, Purple Dragon Shield also is an interesting bug. If you take the Purple Dragon Shield and make a cosmetic of it, and then you put that cosmetic on your character, you still get the effect of the blocking to block energy. Even better than that, if you take that cosmetic shield and you put that on a character that's dual wielding like me, and you can't block, so the shield won't show up, when you block, you still get the effect. Which is kind of goofy, even though it's cosmetic. But it's a pretty good mid-range shield. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. It has Sovereign Vorpal, which is nice. So it's got that nice Vorpal effect. It's not going to do as much damage as, as like I said, Terminus or the... Um, uh, what's that other shield? Not Terminus. Uh, Terminus or the, epic, or the Epic Demonic Slab. But bear in mind, Terminus and Epic Demonic Slab have more effects than just, just being like a good shield. In fact, can I actually pull this up? Do I have the shield in my inventory? I might actually have one. What is this? 
No, it's the second breaker body. So I have two of these. God, it's so bad. Uh, what's this? So term? I don't think I have terminus. No, I don't. But I might have slab. Demonic slab? Yes. There's this shield. So this is the shield that I'm talking about. Okay. Is this going to show? I don't know if this actually shows up on camera. This shield gives armor penetration, a, sh a stat you already want, vitality, a stat you already want, and it has impact. This means that this shield crits on a 19 to 20. Improved crit doesn't affect shields, so this is absolutely insane. And this shield is the highest damage shield in the game. So, like, pretty good, right? And it gives cold resist 50. These are all stats that you want. It's defensively statted with vitality and cold resistance. Vitality being a difficult bonus to get nowadays, considering it only drops on armor. Um... It's got armor piercing 20%, a stat you want when you're playing an offensive type character, and impact makes it unique. It has an effect. Plus, it's 3 times 3 d10s! Which means that when you... So look at the base damage rating. It's 67.65 base damage rating, right? Because it's it does 9 d10s of damage. Now, you if you're a vanguard, you're going to add an extra 3w to this, so it does a total of 6 times 3 d10s. So I don't even know. That's like 18 d10s or something. That's a fucking crazy item, right? So, yeah. So this is, like, interesting shield design. This shield's a little bit too good, in my opinion. And then, th as a result, this shield is so underwhelming, it just it falls under on every single account. So this is an example of, like, an item that shouldn't, that doesn't need to exist and just kind of takes up space. Because it just, it doesn't even, it has the same model, right? So, like, I don't, I don't know what it's for. I'm sorry if it, like, went on its great tangent, but, like, it just confuses me. It's not even like it uses a different stat mod or something. It doesn't cause like a status effect. It's just literally damage that doesn't scale. It's just disappointing, man. <sighs> God. Ooh, what, what do we have here? Legendary five rings? 